Today was an exciting day for the Cutie Mark Crusaders. They were going to earn their cutie marks as bowlers. Today is the day we're all gonna get our cutie marks in bowling! Woohoo! Woo! Earning a cutie mark was special. It meant that a pony had discovered their unique talent. Apple Bloom struggled and fell. Her ball didn't even make it down the lane. The Phillies were not very good bowlers. Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle even joked about how bad they were. That bowling sure was fun, even if all I got was gutter balls. At least you were able to keep your ball in your lane. Apple Bloom was sad she still hadn't found her special talent. It felt like she would never get her cutie mark. Apple Bloom wandered into the Everfree Forest. A thick root caught her hoof and she fell to the ground. Zakora was passing by and found Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom had chipped her tooth. What has happened to you, Apple Bloom? Zakora took Apple Bloom to her hut in the Everfree Forest. She began working on a potion to fix Apple Bloom's tooth. Apple Bloom admitted to Zakora that she didn't want to wait for her cutie mark to appear. She wanted it now. I'm just too impatient to be patient. Once the potion was finished, Apple Bloom drank it. It fixed her tooth. Bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. Zakora explained that no potion could give Apple Bloom a cutie mark. Apple Bloom had to be patient. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. Zakora began crafting a potion for some pony in need that contained a heart's desire flower. Apple Bloom knew the flower would grant her what she most wanted in the world. Heart's desire, huh? She wanted a cutie mark so badly that she scooped out the petals when Zakora wasn't looking. Apple Bloom headed back to Ponyville with a surprise. Now she had a cutie mark. Apple Bloom demonstrated her special talent, loop de hooping. Every pony cheered. Suddenly, another cutie mark appeared. Spinning plates. No one had ever seen a pony with two cutie marks before. Every pony watched as Apple Bloom performed both talents at the same time. All right, every pony. You ready for a real show? That evening, Apple Bloom went back to Sweet Apple Acres to celebrate her cutie marks with her family. Reminded me of when I was a spry young filly. Uh, Charity horse! Charity horse! Woo! That's better! Apple Bloom was exhausted from all the plate spinning and loop de hooping. I'm plum tuckered. Later that night, Applejack discovered that Apple Bloom had a third cutie mark. Now she couldn't stop tap dancing. Help me! I don't know how to make it stop! Well, I know some pony who might. Apple Bloom needed help, so Applejack decided to take her to see Twilight Sparkle. The ponies hurried to Twilight Sparkle's library. Twilight looked up Apple Bloom's ailment in an old book. Cutie pox! 
This puzzling pony plague afflicted a population of ponies back in the Paleo Pony period. It was called cutie pox. The disease caused cutie marks to appear all over Pony's body. Meanwhile, even more cutie marks continued to appear. Twilight suggested they ask Zakora for help. Luckily, Zakora was strolling through Ponyville, searching for her missing ingredient. Apple Bloom, what do you say? Did this flower just walk away? Zakora explained that if Apple Bloom told the truth about how she got her cutie marks, then she would be cured. Now a whirlwind of too many talents, Apple Bloom confessed she used Heart's desire to get her cutie marks. I admit it! I didn't earn my cutie marks! They're all fake! When Apple Bloom confessed, a magical flower of truth blossomed out of the ground. The flower of truth cured Apple Bloom of her cutie pox. Apple Bloom apologized to Zakora for taking the heart's desire flower. I'm really sorry I snuck those flowers from you, Zakora. Zakora explained that being patient is hard, but it was the only way Apple Bloom could truly earn her cutie mark. With each mistake, you learn something new, growing up into a better you. Applejack congratulated Apple Bloom for learning from her mistake. I sure am proud of you, sis. Seems like you finally learned the importance of patience. Apple Bloom smiled. She agreed to be patient and wait for her cutie mark to appear naturally. Yep, all good things come to those who wait. Grateful to be cured, Apple Bloom and her friends returned to Sweet Apple Acres and celebrated. The End